welcome to Delightful, Delicious, and Lovely. My name is Christina Lee, and today I have a special episode. I have very old friends of mine, Jamie and Marie Young. Hello. <laughs> they have known Jamie. He's a Boston boy. I met him in the 80s here in Los Angeles. This is his lovely wife. And together they opened a chain of restaurants in Paris. Right? You want to take it from there, you guys? Go ahead, Okay, excuse my French accent. So, my name is Marie. We moved to Los Angeles two years and a half ago after um, some years in France, obviously, where we had some restaurants, some pizza, a little. Called Pink Flamingo. Called Pink Flamingo Pizza. Still and, exists. And so, can you tell us what, what you was doing at Pink Flamingo Pizza? <laughs> I was making pizzas. Uh, did you not sort of bring gourmet pizzas to Paris as sort of an uncharted territory? Yeah, we, well, it, was, it was what, 13, 14 years ago mm -hmm. and the pizza in Paris, um, yeah, there was, there was a Italian basic pizza and we kind of did um, uh, pizza, the no rules pizza, uh, kind of inspired by the California style pizza here with the uh, duck and whatever. Goat cheese. And they do seasonal things too. They do like an American Thanksgiving pizza with turkey and stuffing and cranberry and gravy on it. And they did Indian pizzas <coughs> with like eggplant and uh, just inventive pizzas. It evolved. It evolved into like anything that could be put on a plate so you could put on a pizza. Yeah. Basically. With organic flour delivery with a bike, which was in Paris, the first people who decide to bring food at people with a bike and not with a scooter. So that was. That was. Yeah. And if you ordered a pizza and went by, sit by the river, they would give you a balloon with a number on it, right? And or just yeah. and, they, and then the pizza would be delivered to you with your pink balloon out there by the by the creek. And and they had a uh, retrofitted VW bus in front of one of the locations that yeah. was retrofitted to have tables inside, so you could yeah. order pizza and wine mm -hmm. and outside yeah. and eat, eat inside the yeah. VW bus. And this is the cookbook in the shape of that bus. Uh, it's all in French, though. <laughs> <laughs> if you speak French, it's an awesome cookbook. All right, but now they live in Los Angeles, and they're starting a food truck called Black Flower. So, and uh, we're very excited about it, and it's going to be crepe, which you call crepes. Right. And it's going to be like we do in Brittany with um, farine de sarrasin, which is buckwheat flour. We're going to use uh, organic buck buckwheat flour. And buckwheat flour is dark, hence the name black flour. It's a dark Yeah, color. because we call it uh, flour of uh, blé noir. So that's why black flour. It's a little... They don't call it buckwheat. They call it blé. It's like black <coughs> wheat in okay. uh, French. And so, yeah, um, it's gluten-free. Okay. Okay. Naturally gluten-free. Naturally gluten -free. Naturally Always. Great. All right. So, uh, and I love their their names of the pizzas in uh, Pink Flamingo were like the Basquiat and the Obama and the Che Guevara. Uh, and your, pizza, your crepe names here are also clever. Uh, Want to list a couple of them? There's a uh, skinny French guy from Los Feliz. <laughs> uh, there is, I think, elaborately tattooed yoga girl from Atwater Village. Yeah. yeah. And my own favorite, which is hiking actress from Beechwood Canyon, which would be me. So I'm flattered to have That's one. The, the goal with all these names is that everybody thinks that they're on the... the you, name, you know so another hiking actress in this neighborhood? Fuck. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking bullshit. All right, well, so we're going to make one and, uh, and try it. Let's but, do it. All right, we're back. We're on to the... We're on to the... Yeah. On, uh, Unlike usual, where I do this show by myself, not only do I have guests here, but we actually have a peanut gallery uh, in front of us, too, uh, that are here to try these crepes when they're um, done. So, Jamie is going to make make one. Get in I'm gonna, there. Yeah, okay, I'm going to make a, a So, what is this? Crepe. What is it you're making it on? What is this thing? It's a crepe uh, griddle. It's uh, just basically a round, uh, a hot uh, thing. But it's Don't touch. I'm not going to touch. I'm not it's a French brand. brand. No, it's Campouze, the, the, the French yeah, brand. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the best brand. It's from France. And, it's, yeah, it's basically... Um, yeah, if you, you can make pancakes, you can make anything you want. It's just a hot unit and it's round. Okay. And this... What, so temperature, this is, what temperature is it at? It's at four, uh, 450, 460. Right. It's very hot. Alright. And this, so we're making a vegan crepe, which is... Um, uh, we make a... You know, at Black Flower, there's, there's going to be, every once in a while, integrated into the menu vegan crepes. Not on the menu. Vegan is vegan. <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? Vegan? Because I'm French. I think you're from France. <laughs> um, so vegan? Vegan. Vegan. 
Uh, yeah. So, so this is a, a vegan crepe that uh, it's. You guys are guinea pigs because we've never made this before. Okay. This is your uh, your your. This is your, the fall your, of your heart. Your nut cheese. It's a smoked gouda. It's not nut cheese. Never say nut cheese. No. No. <laughs> Nobody wants to eat nut cheese. cheese. No, it's not a good thing. It's nut cheese. <laughs> and so I'm you make anything we, else. We can say what do we it's have? Smoked nut cheese. So we'll take that. Jimmy, we can say what do we have now? We have some cranberry. We're gonna put. So we're gonna. Yeah, cra these are dried cranberries. These are um, uh, toasted almonds. Toasted almonds. This is your nut. It's to follow your heart. <clears throat> smoked gouda is what it is. And we got lots of cheese. You know, the, uh, this is. Uh, I'm not a vegan, vegan, so I didn't uh, know which was the best one. It's not bad. It's not bad. So, and this is kale. You know what kale is? Vegan? Kale uh, I mean, kale. If you live in California, you don't know what is kale. I guess it's like if you live in France and you don't know what is a baguette. Okay. Yeah, right. So this yeah. is the uh, the the batter uh, for the vegan uh, style is just buckwheat flour, salt, and water. Okay. So it's naturally vegan. Naturally vegan. Naturally uh, there's no, and gluten free. It just works. There's there's two recipes in. Uh, in Brittany, where the where the crepe, uh, the galette, as we call it, uh, originated. One of them is this, the northern, I think, is the, is the, and they will say there's only one way to make galette, and it's with no egg, no nothing, just water and salt. Okay. And then the southerners say, F you, we like eggs. You can swear on this show. And Talk. channel, on this channel. Jimmy, can you say how long you're supposed to let it uh, rest? Overnight. Oh Ideally. Yeah. It's better. This did not say, oh my goodness, making a mess. So this is... It's very messy making crepes, and this is my least favorite. Beautiful, though. How long did it take you to learn to be able to do that with, with any finesse? Because that was pretty impressive. It, uh, it's weird. There's a, it's, a, it's a strange learning curve. You, you start out the first uh, dozen, you just you have no clue, and you think you're never going to make it. And then suddenly the 13th, uh, you go, oh, okay, that's right. easy. And then it never, it's like riding a bike. All right. But uh, it took me a while. Yeah, I... I, I was, uh, I learned in a French kitchen with a woman from Brittany behind me uh, yelling at me and, uh, and, uh, and telling me how to do and how not to do. Packing a whip, yep. And being pissed when I was ruining it. So cool. Mm. So uh, on the menu, uh, you're going to have, people think you mostly have crepes as a dessert thing with fruit and, and compotes and things, right? But you're doing savory crepes. Yes, these, uh, the galettes, uh, that's how they differentiate them in, in France. There's galettes, which are Savory, savory. And, and crepes, which are... And what is good is that for the breakfast, for example, before going to surf, like we do yeah. every morning in yeah. California. Like, you know, you just do that. <laughs> so anyway, it's very good for, you know, the morning, as uh, Jamie had made some recipe where it's um, with, like, eggs benedict, you know. Um, mm. Also, we have a recipe with, like, avocado, because I love to eat some avocado toast. Mm -hmm. But now it's, it's a lot here, you have to avocado eat Avocado toast. On a galette, yeah. so no toast. And you have like one with a sausage in it and stuff, like a, yeah. a bratwurst or something? A big exactly, bratwurst with caramelized onions and cheese and uh, mustard sauce. Yeah. Dijon. Dijon. All right. We're doing, we, we're, we're, we have the menus kind of divided in between uh, a very traditional French, which is, uh, the, the most traditional is Gruyere cheese, ham, and an egg. You put the egg in the middle, it cooks, and you fold it up. Yeah. And it's, it's called La Complete, but, but that's the skinny French guy from Los Feliz. Right. Okay, okay. So there's that, and then there's kind of the California side. We're doing it, it's kind of a fusion of California and France. So the, the California is like the avocado. It's, it's using, we're doing, and it's kind of following the pink flamingo theme where uh, uh, anything that can you know, go in a, in a burrito or a sandwich or a whatever, it can go in a crepe because right. this is just a, a, a thing to put stuff in and melt. And cook. It's yeah. a round, it's a, a, another round. Uh, that's all I do is round. Round, round food. Round <laughs> food. <laughs> it's the king of round food. <laughs> all right. I think the French are famous for, obviously, is using way too much butter and everything. And this is, uh, we're using um, vegan, uh, what's it made of? Uh, it's earth balanced butter we're using. Yes. They use coconut oil, no? And the fake butter? The fake butter in the movie theaters? I don't know. Made? I don't put butter on my popcorn. Why? I'm gonna get popcorn because I don't need a 5,000 calorie bucket of air. <laughs> We've had some good fights about popcorn in the movie theaters. Yeah, I'm French. You don't eat in movie theater. You look at the movie, you don't talk, you don't <laughs> eat, otherwise I kill. It was me wow, and like the French that. movie I theater. Know that. I was waiting for there to be sound, you know, if there was no sound, I wouldn't, I couldn't eat because yeah. I did. The French will do this, like if you're eating, they'll go like, 
Come on. So I'd be like waiting for a bomb to go off, so I'd be like. Wow. I know. Good to so, know. Really good to know, yeah. I did not learn the hard way in Europe about driving in the fast lane, too. The fast lane's only for passing. You can't cruise in the fast lane. But, uh, <laughs> People were like zipping them, like cut me off. Yeah. In France. I drove from Paris to, to, uh, to Italy, and so I'll do this out of France, and I was. What the fuck is wrong with everybody? They cut me off so hard, and it was brutal. I didn't know. They hate you. They're, that's the most civilized thing going on in Europe is the fact that the left lane is for passing and passing only. That's bullshit. <laughs> they could do that here. I think, imagine how cool it would be if they did that here, and there wouldn't there'd be no traffic jams. I'm thinking that's not true, but okay. Yes, it's true. <laughs> did you ever get in a traffic jam on the highway in, in Europe? No, I did not. Never. Because nobody lives there. Because nobody lives there, and it's too goddamn expensive. <laughs> To go Nobody on the has a car. Like Thirty dollars. No, for a gallon to go of gas. Downtown LA to Venice, it would cost you like fifty bucks. And now we're putting the cheese the in. The butter is important. The butter is so vital. And again, uh, you know, in the in, vegan in, butter. In the vegan butter. So <laughs> get get a good one because it's 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 really the it's what makes everything crisp up on the crepe. And and, and if you don't have it. All right. So once you get this truck on the road, uh, where how will people find it? So we're gonna have to check Instagram to see where we are, you know, because food truck is for people who have an Instagram. <laughs> yeah, no, Instagram, Instagram. Instagram. No, yeah, we're gonna say every day because it's gonna be a lot of. Um, it's hot. I mean, we hope that we're gonna have some place where we go uh, on a regular basis. Yeah. You know, like maybe every lunch in Malibu in Tuesday and. Right. But it's hard to say now, so we're gonna we're gonna have to. Follow us. On yeah. Instagram, black it's flower crepes. And plural, uh, crepes or crepe. Singular or plural. Uh, plur, plur, plural. Plural. Black plural. flower crepes. Yes. On Instagram, black flower crepes, and the website is blackflowercrepes.com. Yes. Um, so you can, I'm sure the locations will be updated daily there too. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. do it. So, unlike usual, I'm not here by myself. I, I have these guys, but I also have people, uh, Peanut Gallery, uh, that will be coming in I shortly to done. try uh, this crepe when it's done. We'll wait for it to be done and come back in just a second. So, all right, people are fucking eating already. All right. So Jamie <laughs> finished it. Jamie made the crepe. We didn't make you watch the whole making. He flipped it and it's ready. And now we're going to the peanut gallery. my friend David and his niece, Caroline. And we're all tasting this. <laughs> all right. Merci. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Okay. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. A crepe is never, never really heavy, you know. I mean, at least Jimmy's recipe. That's what I like. No, it's so light. It's delicious. Very good. It's crispy and creamy, and oh my god. Crispy and creamy. It's exactly. super great. And crunchy. Uh huh. Cranberry, very good. A little sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> I love it. All right. That's my goal in the, in the recipes is to make uh, you know at least three little sensations going on. <laughs> Tex te textures, textures, sweet salt, yeah. blah, blah, blah. creamy, creamy. Well, I, you knocked that one out of the fucking park. That was awesome. Thank you. So yeah, so black flower crepes. The truck is out there now. Go to the website uh, blackflowercrepes.com or their Instagram account. Follow them on Instagram and uh, and check it out. And bring your friends, and they'll have vegan, I mean, vegan options, and meat options, and American style things, and French style mm -hmm. things, and exactly. the whole shebang. And that is that. So thank you very much. This is their Instagram account here, and this is my Instagram account too. Um, please subscribe and uh, follow them on Instagram. That's it. Okay, thanks. Thanks, guys. Bye bye. 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 bye.